Welcome back to another episode of Big Bear Boxing Combo, episode number 95. The conversation I want to get into today, will it be another potential great fight for 2022, Danny Garcia versus Terrence Crawford? I'm going to break it all down in this video, so stay tuned. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and also hit that notification bell. So you guys know how I break my videos down in two different rounds. So round one will be about, will it be anything that gets in the way of Danny Garcia versus Terrence Crawford being made? Also in round two, who actually wins the fight? And I give you guys a full breakdown in round two. So let's get into round one. Will it be anything to get in the way? I don't think so. Uh, I think that Al Heyman is really looking forward to working with Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford being a free agent changed the dynamics of his career. Uh, and also the, the money that he can earn off the back end um, and some of the, the fights that he can put together, just not with so much as just Danny Garcia, but with anybody. He can fight anybody on any network. So I think a lot of boxers are headed into a uh, more of a free zone to where they could they they not um, contractual uh, assigned to a certain network and limit uh, put limitations on their career. So like I say, everybody that's a fan of boxing, I don't have to keep going over this. Everybody knows that Terrence Crawford is a free agent and Danny Garcia. I have to give him a lot of credit. I'm a big fan of Danny Garcia's. Uh, I think he's a really, really tough fight for anybody, man. This guy has a ton of power, um, and you you really have to be focused when you fight Danny Garcia because he can't knock you out. He hasn't had, had a knockout in, in a while, but like I say, the power is still there. The opposition is just different. That's what makes uh, a lot of times people say, well, is he losing power or certain fighters losing power? Like, no. It does not work like that. When you fight uh, other tough guys that can hang in there and take a punch, it's different. And Terrence Crawford can sure take a punch. He's been wobbled. Also, Danny Garcia has been wobbled before, too. Um, but that's that comes with the territory when you're facing somebody just as good as you. And I think that this will be a power fest. I think that, the, the you know, as far as the promotion uh, teams on both sides or, or whatever, whether it's BBC or uh, they don't have to go through all that stuff no more. I think Al Heyman, BBC... I think it could be a possibly a two-fight deal that they throw together for Terrence Crawford with a buttload of money that's attached to that, uh, kind of like what Canelo Alvarez did. Um, but I like to fight for both guys. I think that it's nothing that should get in the way. Uh, like I say, a lot of guys, they you know they either put up or shut up. But Danny Garcia is one of these type of guys that, that won't back down from anybody. And Terrence Crawford, um, he's the same way. He fought Sean Porter. He, he took the first opportunity to fight one of his toughest uh, tat what one of the toughest fighters that he fought um, thus far in his career, and he's looking at another opponent, um, which is Danny Garcia. He technically don't have to take a Danny Garcia fight, but I really, really like the timing of it. A lot of big fights are going down in the summertime. Um, I would love for this to be a, uh, another fight that goes on that uh, summertime schedule, like June, July, August. Uh, I think it, it, it could lead to a, a really, really uh, good year for 2022, and that's just the summer. So just think about the end of uh 2022 uh, but like i say I, I really like the matchup i love the i don't know if i did i, I look more for was it uh true before i actually put this video out so it was reported by a couple uh boxing magazines that um the fight is possibly gonna be made um not for sure you know it nothing is in, in stone yet but uh like i say both of these guys really want to fight and i think that it's probably better for terrence Crawford to actually is a, is a dangerous fight and it's something that could derail uh, one of the biggest fights between Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. But I, I, I'm pretty sure that both of these guys can get uh, through their fights and say that Terrence Crawford fight Danny Garcia. I could really see him get uh, past Danny Garcia, but we're going to get in that in round two in just a moment. But um, like I say, I don't really see anything that will stop a fight between these two guys. They do have the history. Um, as you can see on my screen right now, they are sparring. I think it was tied 1-1. But uh, let's get into round two. So let's get into round two. Who would come out with the victory between Danny Garcia versus Terrence Crawford? I think 
I'm going to tell you why. I think that Terrence Crawford will win by a knockout. And I explain, I get more into detail. I don't know how detailed I get, but I will, I will get detail as I need to get to actually explain my point. Danny Garcia is more of a flat-footed fighter with a lot of power. Sometimes when you're flat-footed, you look at more. Well, most flat-footed fighters do have a lot more power. Uh, Terrence Crawford, on the other hand, he can fight flat-footed, and he can also move. He got better upper body movement as well, so he can slip a lot of punches. Danny Garcia is a counter-puncher as well, even though he's flat-footed. But he really looked for openness so he can land the cleanest shots. Uh, I like Danny Garcia's style, but matching up against somebody that's um, ex- ex- I think that Terrence Crawford is probably more explosive in different ways. Uh, Danny Garcia is obviously explosive with the type of knockouts that he can, you know, inflict on people. But I think when you talk about higher opposition, I think that Terrence Crawford is just on another level. I was in my comment section and uh, everybody was discussing the Ugas fight with uh, uh, Errol Spence and then, you know, whatever. And I was just like, Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence has another gear which puts them on another level. When you think about all the great welterweights that's fighting today, these two guys, the Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence, has a different type of gear they can get to. Uh, they're not going to get wild with you. They're not going to get frustrated with you. Uh, Terrence Crawford showed great poise. Even when I think that, um, I think that, uh, I think Terrence Crawford was losing the first fight. I mean, the first half of the fight against Sean Porter. I'm just going to be honest. I think I was I was giving it to Sean Porter. Uh, I think Sean Porter was doing a really good job with kind of roughing him up. He, he wasn't as bad as his uh, Spence because Terrence Crawford actually fought a different type of fight. Um, but when Terrence Crawford corner told him that he was losing to Sean Porter, all he said was okay. And next thing you know, um, they was picking Sean Porter up off the, you know, off the seat of his pants. I mean, that's just what, that's what happened. That's that's the reason why I think that Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence is the best when it comes to the welterweight division. And also, I think they could do a lot of damage up, uh, with those guys at 154 as well. But Danny Garcia, one thing that he brings to the table is his toughness and his willingness to fight anybody. Uh, he has the experience to beat um, anybody at the welterweight division. But skills pay the bills. And sometimes, man, you know, face, facing higher opposition and, and, and the top of the food chain, which I think that Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence is at the top of the food chain, those guys are different. Um, I think... Danny Garcia will have a harder time trying to find, uh, uh, you know, Sean Porter is a mover. Sean Porter, you know, he was on his toes. He could box you. He could bang you. He got a rough style. He could throw elbows, uh, karate chops, whatever, you know, whatever it takes to win when it comes to Sean Porter. So uh, Terrence Crawford, I think, did a better job with actually handling uh, Sean Porter than Errol Spence did, but that was just because styles make fights. I think that um, Errol Spence made the fight a lot harder than, than what it should have been. But Terrence Crawford, he's one of these guys, if, if you if you make too many mistakes, he's going to make you pay. And I do think that uh, Danny Garcia has the power to actually rock uh, t- uh, Terrence Crawford, but it's not going to be anything to me to make me think that, oh, well, you know, Terrence Crawford could lose. He could get knocked out. Um, the reason why I don't think he'll get knocked out because he, he rolled with a lot of his punches. I mean, if you punch in Terrence Crawford, you're really not hitting him as clean as it looks on TV. You have to really, like, put it in slow motion and, and break some of his fights down. Um, he can take a shot well, even though he's been stunned before, but he can take a really good shot. But I think with his upper body movement, his footwork, his defense, uh, prowess, I think it's so much different than uh, what Danny Garcia brings to the table. Danny Garcia is more like, you know, he can get into a firefight. And I think even if he got into a firefight with uh, Terrence Crawford, Terrence Crawford, he lands the cleaner punches. He has more, um, I think he throws better types of combinations and um, he has a different arsenal in his bag to actually use against Danny Garcia. Dan- Danny Garcia, you kind of know what's coming. Um, he's got a really uh, a good overhand right um, and he, he's not really a, a big jabber, which I think that's going to play another uh, part in actually a victory uh, with Terrence Crawford because he does have a really good jab. But you guys let me know what you think about this one down in the comments below. That's going to conclude another episode of Big Bear Boxing Combo, episode number 95. You guys let me know what you think about this topic down in the comments below. I always want to thank you guys for giving me the motivation to keep going and give you the best when it comes to boxing content. Also, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, and also hit that notification bell. If you want to see what I'm wearing, shoptashi.com. Follow me on all social media platforms we're currently on. Links will be down in the descriptions below. With all that out of the way, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Big Bear Boxing Combo.